Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Ab Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Code Frenchy. Episode number 254. What do you have a new coach today? First of all, I'm going to talk about the reputation now for Abra Jakai because of his injury. Who Montreux can call up from the Laval Rocket? And finally, some Ab news around the team. And still until the end, because I have something special about Cole Caulfield. But before we start, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live show, and definitely leave me a comment about this episode. Let's dive in now, guys, for the first subject of the day. My first subject of the day, guys, is about Albert Jakai, the Wi-Fi impact since the beginning of the season with a Montreal Canadian. Because of him, he had an Ethan stay to the Montreal Canadiens. Martin said we talk a lot about the brand, the culture, the intensity of the team, and I think the physical thing and the way Jakai play with the Montreal Canadiens make a little bit special around the team, the Bleu Blanc Rouge. Secondly, listen, Montreal Canadiens, over 30 years, they never have that kind of sheriff and town like Albert Jakai is since the beginning of the season with the Montreal Canadiens. It's what happening now. Progression since the beginning of the season, guy, is so excellent. Jakai with the Montreal Canadian. On the defensive zone, is a better and better. He box out very well. Push on his stick is good. Edge work skating is excellent or better now. And then finally, we have to mention the way he coverage his defensive zone with a first pass on the transition is, of course, something he developed with time since the beginning of the season with the Montreal Canadiens. But today I want to talk more the other side of him. He got a reputation very quickly in NHL. Remember his first couple of fights where he did very well at the beginning of the season? A big fighter in NHL, try him. Already have nine fights in NHL so far. But because of his reputation, I think right now he needs to be a little bit more careful about what's going on on the ice. He does have to fight all the time because... Maybe not necessary. Sometimes when you fight, it could change the momentum. He need to become a little bit more smarter. Yes, as the reputation he has, the way he is, when he got an invitation like they are near the last game, you know, maybe not have a choice. But again, it was necessary or not. That's depend how you see the game. But for me, he need to be a little bit more aware about what's going on. What is the right time and not the right time to fight with any other players in NHL? And finally, the last update is going to be reevaluate to see the gravity of his injury on the right shoulder. If it's necessary to get a surgery or not. If it's not, it could be a couple of weeks or months. If it's a surgery, it could be for long term. Hopefully, it will be ready for upcoming season 2023-2024. We're going to follow up with this uh, update and we'll definitely give you more information about the session with Albert Jakai. But again, it's about his impact for my first subject for him. Wi-Fi is unbelievable. The fans love him. He's really become one of the top favorite players for, for the fans of the Bleu Blanc Rouge, the Montreal Canadiens. Hopefully you enjoy my first subject. I invite you, please leave me a comment about Albert Jekai and let's move on for my second subject of the day. My second subject, guys, is about the Montreal Canadian could call up a defenseman if it's necessary. We know we just talked about Jekai is going to be out for a couple of weeks. Now, the Montreal Canadian could call William Trudeau. Four-round pick, Montreal Canadian in 2021, the 21 years old. is a great story with the Laval Rocket. First of all, he could return this year and a QM, but the Montreal keep him with the Laval Rocket. At the beginning, guys, it was difficult. He, he was out to scratch a lot. Then, secondly, he need to adapt himself about the pace of the game, the physicality of the game, and the timing of the game. He did it. His progression... Until December, you can see his development. It was slowly but properly. Now, when Justin Barron, guys, got the call up a couple of weeks ago for the Montreal Canadian, but William Trudeau became a defenseman jumping on the first pairing with Shenemann, and he got a lot more TOI since that day. He took advantage of this uh, opportunity because he had already 10 points in the last 12 games. And you can see if he was a Laval Rocket, how he progressed uh, since the beginning of the season. This is another great story. It could be the one can call up if the Montreal Canadiens find a way it's necessary for them 
to get an extra defenseman with a Montreal Canadian for the rest of the season. My second player I want to talk about is Nicolas Baudin. Trade for Cam Ellis a couple of months ago. Came from the Chicago Blackhawks, 23 years old, some experience in NHL. It's the same story with Trudeau at the beginning. Confusion, healthy scratch. He tried to find his niche with a team, but he cannot find a way until he feels a bit more comfortable and they have done some kind of chemistry, communication better between the head coach, Ole and Baudet. But listen, guys, Sen is with the Montreal Canadiens now. 22 games he played already, 2 goals, 12 assists, 14 points. You can see his experience pay off the Laval Rocket. Sen, he came back for the next injury after he missed one month. Baudet played solid with the Laval Rocket. Would be interesting if the Montreal call up, are they going to go with a rookie like Trudeau to give him some reps? Are they going to go with a little bit more my experience and to see really what Baudin looks like for if he returns in NHL? We know both of them are left defensemen. Finally, uh, one thing I want to mention to you, it's impossible for local Mayo to get the call up to play with the Montreal Canadian because they don't have no uh, emergency call they can do it because Justin Barron, it was called up with no emergencies, cannot call local Mayo like they did before with Owen Beck because they did it when they called up emergency pit lake and Brazil. So I just want to share with you about this. Uh, let me, what do you think about both players, uh, Trudeau and Baudin? Do you feel this should be Give an opportunity for one of them to join the Montreal Canadian at some point remaining of the season. Leave me a comment and let's move on now, guys, for my next subject of the day. My next subject of the day, guys, is a quick one. Montreal Canadian update. First of all, Montreal Canadian play tonight against the Carolina Hurricane and Carolina. Uh, Montreal won the last three games and the Carolina are 8 1 1 in the last 10 games, first in the Metropolitan Division. It's not going to be easy for Montreal play over there. We know Montreal play Saturday again. The Toronto Maple Leafs at two more games on the on the road. They are four straight game in the next couple of days for the Montreal Canadiens. Manon joined the team. He is on the trip right now. We know he still has some kind of injury. Can he play one of the two games? Again, Carolina or Toronto would be interesting to hear this from Martin St. Louis. But today, guys, I want to talk about Cole Carfield. He's still having some fun, whatever. He is out for the rest of the season. He just got a surgery. Let's see what he did uh, today during the practice. Uh, watch him what he's doing. Jonathan Drouin now set up his pants, uh, take uh, his glove. And now, Cole Caulfield, this is happening all the time, guys, in hockey. Open up the cap of the ball and you're going to be interested to see what's happening next after that. We're going to Josh Anderson pick up his own bottle. And then you have Drouin. Boom! <laughs> Drouin is smiling right now. And you can see in the left corner, Cole Carfield and the Jake Evans beside him smiling about this. And uh, Drouin <laughs> continues smiling. And here we go, Cole Carfield. This is what he brings, guys, uh, when you win uh, the hockey game. And Cole Carfield has been this way, bring enthusiasm, uh, smiling, and fun. Uh, one is on the eyes or off eyes. Uh, this is a great example about this. Finally, I want to talk about one more subject for the next update for the Montreal Canadian. Look at Ben, you guys. Score is 20 goals of the season. A goal-winning game. Let's watch this video. This is a goal he did during last game for the London Knight. He pick up the puck at the blind. He fake at the right to the left. He coming back in front of the net. Puck. And then he go over the goaltender on his right side. And that's how Logan Mayu score for the London Knight. He was his 20 goal in the OHL this season. He's a number one defenseman. Now he's a top 10 defenseman in OHL for the number of the points. He has right now 42 points with the London Knights. A lot of people thinking maybe he can come with um, play for the Montreal Canadiens next season. It would be interesting to see this. Uh, he still a lot of work to do. You have to be excited to get Mayu. You should be excited about Lane Hudson, and you should be excited about Owen Beck. And what about Sean Farrell? What a great tournament he got last week. Actually, they lost an overtime against Northeastern Egyptian Strobel, another Montreal Canadian prospect. Where both of them, Farrell and Strobel, have to sign the entry level contract if they want to join the Montreal Canadian. Going to follow this uh, the next couple of weeks uh, if it's possible. Uh, this guy has concluded all the subjects we have for this episode. Here we go, guys. This concludes this episode. We talk about Jekai. 
We talk about call up someone from Laval Rocket. And finally, we have some abs update at the end of this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed this uh, episode. But before we leave, we invite you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to Dr. Nishina Show, and leave me a comment about this episode. We want to remind you one more thing. You have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an happy, thanksfully, Thursday day, everybody. Mm -hmm.